Hey, what's up? John Sanmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. Hey, I just want to give a quick thanks to one of our sponsors at Simple Programmer, which is Dev Mountain Bootcamp. You should go check them out. The link is in the description. They are a coding bootcamp and they can teach you web development, iOS development, UX design, a lot of good stuff. I get a lot of feedback from a lot of you out there that email me and have told me about Dev Mountain, so I decided to check them out myself. And I, I like what I found. I like their programs. They offer uh, some 12 week intensive programs. They also offer some after hours programs, which I know that some of you will like. So go check them out you can see the link in the description below dev mountain boot camp and a big thank you to them for sponsoring simple programmer and i got a question about whether i should focus on learning one language or learn many others so this question is from santiago i like to say that santiago and he says hey john i'm going to start an apprenticeship this summer thanks to you i asked my future boss what language we'll be learning mostly java php and sql now I'm asking you if I should stick with these and really focus hard on them, or if I should learn some other languages, e.g. C, C Sharp, Go, Python, Ruby, additionally to the apprenticeship. Are the languages that we are going to learn well for things like artificial intelligence, or if I would like to become a software architect? Uh, additional info, uh, this is pretty cool. He says, I'm 14 years old, so I never had <coughs> any working experience just built some programs and websites on my own. Well, for, first of all, I have to congratulate you that you're 14 years old and uh, you got this apprenticeship, that you're, you're watching these videos, that you actually are so focused on your career that early in life. That's awesome. Like, you, no matter what you do, I think you're going to be uh, fantastically successful. And wow, that's, that's just awesome. So great, great job on that. As far as learning programming languages, so. I would really focus, so I don't, I don't think, I mean, as far as Java and PHP and SQL, are those good for artificial intelligence? Maybe not the best. I think Java, perhaps, I think Python is probably what I would, I would say for artificial intelligence, although there's plenty of people doing Java stuff. Uh, but I don't think that's so, so important. And as far as becoming a software architect, obviously any programming language will, will, will probably do in that case. But here's what I'd say. I don't think it's very beneficial to learn a bunch of programming languages. Uh, I've talked about this before a lot, it, this idea of people just like gathering knowledge and putting it in their bag of knowledge uh, for no purpose. You should always learn things for a reason, right? You should always say, I want to learn X so I can do Y. So what is your Y, right? Now in this case, when you're doing an apprenticeship, it's, it's so your Y might be so I can actually do my job, right? So I can, I can get paid and do my job and, and learn wh what I want, right? Because you're so young. Young, you've got this opportunity, right? That, that makes sense. But eventually in life, you're going to have to say, your why is going to have to be something like, you have to decide, I want to do artificial intelligence. And at that point, you're going to say, I need to learn whatever it is, Python and this artificial intelligence library or whatever that they're using in order to be able to write this artificial intelligent bot that I'm, I'm working on or, or whatever that is. But the, the key thing is that you focus based on that, that outcome. So getting all a bunch of other programming languages right now is not going to be very beneficial for you. In fact, what you really need to focus on right now is getting a lot of depth, okay? So if you if you learn a lot of programming languages that you're not using, you're not going to have very much understanding and if you don't apply what you're learning, it's going to go poof out the out the window. It's not going to be very valuable. You might retain a small percentage of it, but it's it's just going to work as exposure. It's not going to actually give you true true understanding, which you, which is what you need to become a good software developer. So my advice to you would be this: focus on the the couple of things that you're learning. If it's or one programming language, Java in this case, it sounds like Java and, and PHP is what what you're doing there. So focus, put all your effort, all your energy into learning that with as much depth as possible. Depth is really important. And it's amazing how depth carries over. There's so many people that enter the software development field that were experts in some other field that had a lot of depth and they come into software development and, and magically that depth carries over, even though it doesn't directly apply, but they've gone through the process of acquiring depth, of becoming really good at something. You'll see this a lot in life. You'll see that there's people that become really, really good at something, really good musician, or they are really good athlete, 
and then they actually have a couple of areas in their life that they become really, they try something else and they become like top in the world at, at that other thing that they do. And it's because that, that ability to, to get depth, to really go deep, to really focus, to work without motivation, to train hard, that carries over and that's the more important skill. That's the higher level principle. It doesn't really matter what programming language you're using. It matters that you, you invest the time to understand the, the, the depth of that programming language and programming in general. So my advice to you is stick with just what you're learning for now. Don't try and learn all this other stuff until you need it. When you need it, then change your focus if, if you need to and focus specifically on that. But Java could probably take you through your whole career if, if you want to. That's, I think that would be fine. So just focus on that. Don't get distracted uh, and don't worry about, you, you can't possibly know everything and you, you can't possibly be good at everything, but it's way, way, way more valuable to have a very deep specialized knowledge. Again, I'll give you my playlist. I've got a playlist on specialization, which really hits home the point. If you watch those videos, you'll see me time and time telling people again that they need to specialize how important that is and how much to focus on that. So learn one programming language and learn it really, really deep. At some point, you can expand your knowledge and you can learn other programming languages, but don't, having a shallow knowledge of a bunch of programming languages is is pretty useless okay it's like it's like being a guy that can answer a bunch of that does good at trivial pursuit being good at trivial pursuit worthless skill same thing being good at a couple of different programming languages instead it'd be much much better if you have a depth of knowledge in one particular programming language so focus on that especially now especially starting out all right i hope that video helped you again congratulations on being so wise at the young age of 14. You've got a huge career ahead of you. Uh, if you like this video, click that subscribe button below if you haven't already. And if you want to ask me a question, you can email me at john at simpleprogrammer.com. I'll talk to you next time. Take care.